My name is Tom Zaki, and I'm the founder and CEO of TerraCycle. Recently, in the past decade or so, there's been the emergence of what we call the circular economy. If you think about something, say, like a toothbrush, it's made, used, and then when it's finished, it becomes waste. That's a very linear system. The idea of the circular economy is to bend that line and make it go around and around. So a simple example would be take that same toothbrush, have it made, used, and then instead of being thrown out, collected, and recycled into, ideally, a toothbrush again. Better than that would be to tighten the circle, so something like a reusable bottle. So there, you have a bottle, you use it, and when it's empty, you send it right back to the bottling company who cleans it and refills it, and you have a tighter circle. So the overall goal of circular economy is to move away from linear systems, bend them into a circle, and then make that circle as tight as absolutely possible. How do we move away from disposable products altogether? Ask yourself, can we be, as a world, in the business of disposability 50 years from now? I don't think so. If I had to take a crystal ball and project into the future, the future I see is a global platform that moves all of your favorite products into hyper-durability. So imagine today when you buy some shampoo. You most likely buy it in a plastic bottle, and when it's empty, you throw it out. If possible, recycle it. Imagine in early 2019, you'll be able to get that exact same brand of shampoo, but instead of in a cheap plastic bottle, in a beautiful stainless steel container that does more than what a plastic bottle could do before. And when it's empty, you don't have to clean it or anything. We just pick it up from you, sterilize it, fill it back up with the same branded content, and out it comes to you. At the exact same price, as what you paid for disposable goods. And so what we're doing, and we'll be launching this in about a year from now, is developing a platform with the world's biggest consumer product companies that move their packages from disposable to ultra durable, where we, instead of melting them down, collect them, clean them, and then fill them back up with that original content to allow it to go around. How does an individual help play a role in this? We don't give ourselves enough credit as individual consumers for how powerful we really are. The role of these major organizations, retailers and consumers, product companies, is to get us what we want in the best and most affordable way. And they're really a reflection of our desires. So if we start to desire things that create less waste or are more circular, these companies will produce more of those things. We vote multiple times a day with money on the future we want. But I think many people don't realize just how powerful that vote that they cast is.